So today we've got a new tool here from G&G Technics. It's a harmonic balance or removal tool. All right, so the crank bolt on LS1 installs at some ungodly foot pounds. I think it's like 350 foot pounds. It's torque uh, plus angle. And to get them off, it takes a pretty big ratchet or breaker bar. So what we got here is got a breaker on. I've got a crank fixture on the back to hold the crankshaft in place while I break this loose. Now, you know, you take the crank bolt out. So a lot of these LS crank bolts, they'll torque at uh, their, their base reading and then their angle will be 180 degrees. So you can have a torque plus angle torque wrench or you can do a cheater easy way and that is simply put a line on the crank bolt. And when you seat the crank bolt and it goes to a spot, you just mark a spot 180 degrees from that spot on your bolt and then you know all you gotta do is just turn it back around until they match up at 180 degrees. No torque angle wrench needed. Okay, so we're ready to install using our, uh, our removal tool, install our removal tool. Um, one of the things that uh, they did here at uh, G&G Technics is that they made the head of the bolt the same size as the bolt that comes out. So you don't even have to change sockets. That's kind of a cool touch. So you install the tool and then you turn it clockwise to engage the legs. Then you just turn this thing down by hand to get it in position everything squared up there all right so now we're going to see how easy it is to actually use the tool obviously the opposite direction from taking the bolt out and now I'm just going to screw this in and she's coming off real nicely don't even need a crank holding tool and thanks for our antices and a clever little tool comes off with these tool comes out and there's your balancer no damage to the balancer by the way too. all right so when we're installing an LS family crankshaft damper what we'll do is we'll make sure that the crankshaft hub is really nice and clean on the back side here there can be no debris because that'll interfere with the timing cover seal and you'll have a front oil leak um, so what we do is we get this all cleaned up we'll actually coat the outside with grease and we'll put the inside, we'll use red Loctite or some form of sealer to prevent the oil from flowing through the threads and through the damper and making another oil mess. <clears throat> so make sure that thing's all nice and clean when we put it back on. So we'll use the crank bolt to just kind of get it started there. Make sure that it starts on straight. And then we start to coax it on with the rubber hammer. Make sure that we don't have anything that'll impact this outer inertia ring and this thing gets us uh, a little bit further on. Then you do a little bit of thread and you knock it a little bit further on and then a little bit of thread and you just kind of gradually work it on. That's the way to do it with no tools.